Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is June 3rd, 2018. We're on Hilton Head Island in Wexford, the private gated golf, marina, and tennis community on the south end of Hilton Head Island. We're here today at number 63 Bridgetown Road, a beautiful large home for sale listed with Hilton Head Luxury Homes. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. The home has 7,196 living square feet and the second floor is a, a, the same size as the first floor, which means you have about 3,600 square feet below the house, which allows for a six car garage several storage rooms. Uh, there is a swimming pool out back with a beautiful marina view, probably the best location in all of Wexford for the marina view. There is a private dock with a 70-foot uh, dock out there. We're going to walk through this home. It has five bedrooms, six full baths. See what you think. See if it could possibly be for you. It is listed today at $2,699,000, like I said, with Hilton Head Luxury Homes. Let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood here at the end of uh, Bridgetown Road. We're on a cul-de-sac. These homes are unquestionably palatial and of the highest quality. A custom home community for sure. The average home in Wexford today is listed with our MLS at four, with has 4,753 square feet. And the average price listed in Wexford today is 1,166,200. Uh, the community has a uh, Arnold Palmer signature golf course that was just renovated a few years ago. Beautiful hard true tennis club. It has a clubhouse with a dining room. Uh, there is a community swimming pool. They have a community croquet. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Golf, tennis, marina. Now, uh, if you're not on the uh, marina or in, uh, or if you don't have your own boat slip, then the boat slip is not included with your home. But it is with this one. This is the best of the best. The annual HOA here in Wexford in 2018, $16,965. For the Wexford buyer, that is a bargain. Well, we're gonna go in and take a look at this house, like I say, and um, my name again, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H, and my company is Go Gated Realty, like gated communities, and I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. This, um, driveway is a paver driveway which is not only beautiful and expensive but also ecologically friendly because the water filters down through the stones into the ground. Uh, we go off to the right for a two-car garage entry. We go to the left for a two-car garage entry. But we're going to go right up the middle, take a look at the house. We have stone steps, curvilinear stone steps here at the base. We have stone balusters. This is an impressive entrance. There are so many upscale features to this house. I will do my best to show them to you. We have illuminated steps coming up, but I may not be able to show you everything. I will do my best. And we have a large covered front entry here with some beautiful doors and side panels this is a stucco exterior with some beautiful treatments, beautiful windows. We have attractive carriage lights. And we have some beautiful pillars in this house. Some Corinthian pillars with some dental work around the top of our portico. Beautiful rounded pillars coming down. It makes for quite an entry befitting this beautiful house here at number 63 Bridgetown Road. Let's go in and take a look. <whistles> we 
We do have a master bedroom on the first floor, and we have a master bedroom on the second floor. Overall, we have five bedrooms, so one down, four up. This is our stairway to the second floor. We'll go there after we see the first floor. And we have a home office here to the right. Now it is kept locked by the owner. This home is owner occupied. And it's a beautiful office in there, beautiful coffered ceiling. It's an oversized office, quite attractive, but we have no access. So we'll just do our best. Otherwise, we have stone floors, ladies and gentlemen, in this house. And I don't just mean throughout the first floor, I mean on the second floor as well. This is travertine. It's a type of limestone, it's high quality. It's laid diagonally. This is a beautiful home with many custom features and all the while high end quality. We have two arches taking us into the living room with a quartet of pillars. We're gonna come back around to that. I'm not gonna go into the living room that way. Instead, I'm gonna start over here to the left at our dining room where we have two more pillars, another archway. And here's our dining room. You'll notice that the tile floors lead us in there seamlessly. Now the furniture is not included. This home is owner occupied. This is one of several beautiful chandeliers that we're gonna see in this home. Recessed ceiling with the indirect lighting. And we have a surround sound system. Throughout the home, we're gonna see large windows with transom windows. And they all have blinds, window coverings are included. This is our side hallway to the kitchen. And off to the left is our laundry. We have a lot of cabinets in this house, high-end cabinets. We have a bank of cabinets here to the left. We have another bank behind the door here to the right. Lots of cabinets in this laundry room. Crown molding even in the laundry room with a window. Again, the house is owner-occupied. Let's continue on to the kitchen and family room. And it's a wow, it is a wow, because we have both a breakfast bar here in the foreground. We have a wet bar immediately after that. The family room, the porch with the marina view, we're gonna see all of it here. Let's just take it step by step. Granite tops are understood. We have the Dacor stainless appliance, the double oven. Beautiful cabinet work here, beautiful woodworking. The fluting, we're gonna see this again and again. It goes right on up to the ceiling. This is cabinetry to the max, ladies and gentlemen. We have under-mounted cabinet lights. Beautiful features. We have the uh, paneled refrigerator. I did not check on the brand on that. I did not check on the brand. I'm going to assume Thermador, I don't know. We have the gas range over here, which is our Viking range. Now, this is actually propane, so we have propane tanks. And this is just cabinetry you just don't see in other homes. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. including things that you just never see. Here's a uh, cabinet cased window here over your sink. Fisher Paquel is your dishwasher here. Again, it just goes on and on. Beautiful cabinets. And the Limestone floors also continue. You can just see how they extend right on across to the other side of the house. We're gonna go there. Here's our wet bar with the sink. We have an ice maker here and a wine cooler over here. There is a desk over here with a small TV. 
and lots of details. Like I said, I, I just can't take the time to go into them all, but beautiful crown molding, crown details, glass doors, lighting for beautiful artwork. And then over here to the rear left of the home on the first floor is a family room. In the foreground, we have a card table or meeting table, game table. Beautiful built-in television set. All of this stays with the house, of course. Soft colors. Surround sound, when I say surround sound, I really mean whole house sound system. In every room we have speakers in every room. Large windows bringing in the light. Half of the house views out across the marina. Beautiful woodworking here leading us to the living room. In the living room is another wow. I think you'll find that uh, every room is architecturally of the highest uh, design and quality. Beautiful coffered ceilings. There's a coffered ceiling in that home office to the right where we were not allowed access. You'll see another coffered ceiling upstairs. There's another second floor living room immediately above this one. Similar in size. All right, let's go out back and see the uh, porch and the marina. I can't uh, wait any longer. I want to show it to you, and I'm going to show it to you from the first floor and the second floor. Very large porch. Our outdoor cooker over there. There are stairways that take you down to the ground from both ends of this porch. There is your private dock the main body of the Wexford Marina. We do have a private swimming pool. I may not have mentioned that, but there it is, and it's a real beauty. Three dolphins swimming at the bottom, in tile, of course. There's a beautiful zero edge on the far side. We'll go take a closer look at that. The marina entrance is to the right, and this is one of two marinas on Hilton Head Island, one of the few on the entire East Coast that has a lock system. So for you people who are serious about your boats, then you know that having a lock to your marina keeps your boat safer. It, your boat stays cleaner, re requires less maintenance. Here's our built-ins left and right of this. And again, I said there was too many details to recount but I'll, I'll just try to show you a few things. This is a um, stone uh, fireplace surround, a mantle. Really, really uh, great looking, high quality. We have a gas fireplace. It is a real fireplace, a gas burning, again, propane. And our entrance then to the foyer on this side through the double arches. We saw that when we came into the house. How about this foyer? That's one of the most beautiful chandeliers I've seen in any house on Hilton Head Island ever. We'll get another look at that or two when we come back around. But first I want to show you the downstairs master bedroom. There are quite a few closets that we're passing by here because this is a big house. We have a lot to see. I don't want to be poking into every closet, but this is the downstairs master bedroom. It is a biggie. It is a biggie with lots of windows, lots of transom windows, lots of beautiful light coming in, plenty of places to sit for a table with the marina view. Beautiful palm trees surround this house. 
crown molding goes all around. Very high baseboard. Let's go take a look. This takes us to the master bathroom. And again, notice the stone floor going right on down. We're going to pass two or three closets on our way. And as nice as they are, I don't mean to be a spoiler, but the bathroom upstairs is much nicer. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it is much nicer than this one. So here is this master bathroom with beautiful granite tops, as you would expect, some really distinctive, beautiful cabinet work, another chandelier, one of several, beautiful jetted smoking, smoking, how about beautiful jetted soaking? I guess you might be smoking if you're in there. You might be smoking hot, I'm not sure. I'm trying. Uh, and then here's your tile shower. This is, uh, again, your limestone with all kinds of jets, body jets and so forth. Yeah, this house really has it all. Lots of um, many, many architectural details. And then your commode and bidet are over here. Well, let's go upstairs. In the foyer, we have um, the entrance to the garage off of this side. Now, we're not going to go down there. It's, it's big. It's about 3,600 square feet. It's every bit as big as the first floor of this house. So much storage down there. We have a bathroom here to the right. The commode there is behind the door. And we have an elevator. I don't think I mentioned that before. It goes from your garage stops here on the first floor and again on the second floor. That is a just gorgeous set of doors and windows there, folks. It's really be, uh, it really is a beautiful entrance to this home. So here we have wooden tre uh, treads, beautiful railing here, metal railing that takes us upstairs. And this stone work continues on the second floor where we have the second floor bedroom, second floor living room is what I mean to say. How nice is this? Just absolutely gorgeous. Coffered ceiling, a fireplace, about the same size as downstairs, but now here we have a bar and there is a refrigerator there. We also have a fireplace. Over to this side, a game room with a pool table, some arcade machines. There's a bathroom at the end of the room. Let's just take a quick look here. The uh, contents are not included. I suppose they could be negotiable, folks. I don't know, but the house is being sold unfurnished. So all your fixtures are included. Beautiful bathroom. Again, you have stone, or in this case, maybe a ceramic floor. Gorgeous shower with the uh, frameless shower door. Beautiful marble work. Little preview of the marina here. Best seat in the house regarding the marina view. 
And of course, you can use these rooms up here for whatever you like. But the house is built for living. Definitely built for living and entertaining. This is Wexford, folks, on the south end of Hilton Head Island. Now, people who move here to Wexford obviously are affluent and they're buying a lifestyle that they want and can afford. The best of the best. Beautiful golf, private golf, boating, community swimming pool. The clubhouse, the Wexford clubhouse, is just across the marina there. And just off to the right, there is the Wexford Community Swimming Pool. And that is the dining room inside the clubhouse. The golf shop to the far left here. And just through the trees is the tennis club. So all of this is within a quick walk of this home. Lots of convenience. Big, big oversized porch here on the second floor. Beautiful breezes here, even on a hot day. It's about 93 degrees today. Beautiful breezes here on the marina. And like downstairs, we have a custom made stone mantle and surround to our gas fireplace. We have some beautiful stonework here on the floor. double doors with similar uh, style that we have on our front door set, echoed there. I want to show you the second floor bedroom here, master bedroom, which is the actually the, <laughs> the real one, I guess you could say, but you would decide. If you own this house, you would decide. Do you prefer to put your guests downstairs? Well, this is, uh, we've kind of seen it, seen the floor plan from the first floor. What you haven't seen is the bathroom and the closets, which are nicer on this second floor suite. This then is his closet. I'm assuming it's his closet. Again, I'm not the listing agent, I'm a buyer's agent, showing this home with the permission of the listing agent. And this would be her closet, or I'm assuming it would be her closet. It could be the other way around, of course. Lots of shelving and cabinets. And then what makes this bathroom different is that you have his and her bathrooms. You have his and her showers. Here's her shower with the tiled shower, including the tiled ceiling, frameless door. And the reason we know that this is hers is because it has the bidet. Across the hall, we have his bathroom with the commode and the pedestal sink, and with his shower, which is also large. Lots of the body jets in there, lots of tile, frameless door, good quality, his and her showers, and then connect into the one main tub room with the vanities. A quartet of pillars, beautiful light fixture, unbelievably nice crown molding, whole house music is here, just really great, really looking good in every way. So I think this is the nicer of the two bathrooms actually on the second floor. 
So that would be up to you how you would decide to live in this home. If you wanted to have your guests or family up here, or would you take this for yourself? I just don't know. I might be, uh, I might struggle with that myself. I might struggle with that myself if, what, if it were my decision. And of course I would simply ask my wife and then that would, uh, that would be the answer. All right, so this is the second floor master. Same sitting area, same space as that first floor one. This one has a entrance to the second floor marina balcony. I just can't resist. I'd like to see it again. I hope you do. Well, let's go down and see the pool. We'll finish up. I'll give you my contact information and invite you to call or email to talk about the kind of home and community that you're looking for. I don't want to get a, too far ahead of myself here because we have two more bedrooms to see. Over here to the right, we have this one. Obviously not being used very much. There's a closet, they're storing a lot of things here. And the private bathroom. The marble surround, crown molding throughout, folks. High quality continues throughout the house. It's a jetted tub, not just a soaking tub. Room enough for another place to play cards. The house is definitely set up for family fun and entertaining. A lot of people have second homes here in Wexford. Obviously an affluent community. Again, these bedrooms have the private bathrooms, beautiful marble surround, just like with the other frameless doorway. Just beautiful limestone floors, everything, windows, double closets in here. I mean, things like lever handles are just understood and uh, compared to the other high quality features, very high baseboards. So much in this house. Second floor laundry, we saw the first one. There's a second floor laundry here as well. With a washing bin there to the left. What a house, what a house. I'm so happy to be able to show it to you. And I just can't help but mention that beautiful frosted custom Palladian window up over your foyer. It's keeping that chandelier company. I guess you could say the sweetest honey is lonesome in its own deliciousness. But I don't think you'd be lonely in this house. I think you have a lot of friends that would want to come and visit you. And um, I think that your entertaining would uh, definitely be uh, welcome. Let's go see that pool. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H, and my company, Go Gated Realty, and my cell number, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. And at gogated.com, you can search all the homes for sale here in Wexford. 
on your own at any time. But I would just invite you to call or email. Tell me what you're looking for. Let's work together to find it. I don't work for uh, Wexford. I don't work for Hilton Head Luxury Homes. I work for my buyers as a buyer's agent, again, with 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Here, I wanted to give you a closer look at that zero edge pool here. What a pool, what a house. Well, at my website, gogated.com, there's a place where you can answer the question. It simply says, uh, please tell me about yourself, what you're looking for, the kind of home and community you're looking for. And when you click that button, then that'll send me information about you. And I can respond and we can get acquainted and work together to find the right home and community for you. And I welcome hearing from you and look forward to working with you as your buyer's agent here in Wexford on Hilton Head Island or in Bluffton, South Carolina. It just doesn't cost anything more to have a buyer's agent working for you, ladies and gentlemen, because in my case, I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close, and the commission is already in the price of this home and any other listed home, including new builds. I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I love working with my buyers to compare new homes to resale homes. We compare communities, we compare builders. I'm here to answer all your questions, and I think with 42 years of local experience, I can give you advice that you can trust save your time, allow you to shop with confidence, and hopefully save you some money. But I welcome your call, your email. Thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed showing you this home today at 63 Bridgetown Road, 2699000 If you like the video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube, and please subscribe. Thank you again.